K.J. Costello made an instant impact in his first start for Mississippi State. After transferring from Stanford back in February, I got a chance to catch up with him this week, and I found out how everything he went through this offseason prepared him to be my playmate of the week. After everything you've been through, man, in the year, your injuries, to be in this moment right now, man, how big was this for you? You know the drill. You've been hurt. You don't know if you're going to play again at a high level. It took me months, you know, to get back to where I wanted to be. I honestly started feeling good, like, last week. I mean, and you guys just beat the defending champs. How'd you guys do it, man? Who were the key factors? What were the key factors, man, that helped you guys win this game? I remember watching LSU last year. Knew every single guy on the team. Came down here just so, like, locked down, trying to learn a new offense just to give myself a chance to succeed. I think what played into the success of beating the national champs, I, at least I did, we spent zero time even thinking about it. I mean, I just, I didn't have any time to spend diagnosing what they were doing. The air raid bombs the bayou today. K.J. Costello, the first Mississippi State quarterback to throw for 600 yards in a game. What is it going to take for you guys to get through this gauntlet of a schedule, man? What, what, how good can this team be? I mean, I heard a lot of coaches, every player in the country, they talk about going 1-0 and every week. And Leach, like, he really does not care who lines up on the other side. We're trying to perfect our craft um, at what we're doing and uh, do our job. Yeah, what an incredible debut. And how about this, Reg, from KJ? Pretty <laughs> surreal for me. I still have Reggie's jersey hanging in my room. Oh, man, that's, that's amazing. Cool. I love that. That's, that's pretty, pretty cool, cool, man. All right, Matt, let's welcome everybody to Club Heisman. We got no <laughs> jackets on because we don't wear jackets in the club, man. So, Matt, we got a couple early Heisman candidates that we like, right? And we also got some VIPs that we think are going to be on the list all season long. Who are some of those VIPs? All right, so let's take a look at the two VIPs so far. We have Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. He's been near perfect so far this season. And then Justin Fields, even though they haven't played it down yet, we know he's going to be in this mix. But when you're at the club, you're trying to get in. You're at the front of the line. And we had some big guys who had top performances last week. Yeah, man, one of those big guys we just saw interviewed, K.J. Costello, 623 yards, five touchdowns, and they got the W against LSU, the defending champs. Hate to see it happen to Coach O, man, but people say this air raid offense may not work in the SEC, and so far it looks amazing. Yeah, he looked great last week. How about Kyle Trask from Florida? You know, Reg, when you're trying to get a table next to the DJ booth, that's what Kyle Trask had, (laughs) six touchdowns, over 400 yards passing, a big one coming up today against South Carolina. And how about the plus one? You need to show up in the club with a plus one. Kyle Pitts, the number one tight end in the country, four touchdowns last week. I love what Kyle Trask has done so far. I would definitely have Kyle Pitts as my plus one. (laughs) Uh, My next guy, Sam Ellinger. Uh, I love him because he's tough. He's tough as nails. Kind of reminds me of Tim Tebow a little bit, the way he runs the football. And then in the fourth quarter, you know he's going to have the ball in his hands, trying to make a play, putting his team in positions to win. What do you got next? Yeah, I love him. And and we're going to hear Coach Urban break him down a little bit later in the show. All right, we talk about... Who's out of the race, right? This, this list changes every single week. How about Spencer Rattler week one? I know he's just a freshman, but he did look like a freshman last week against a loss in Kansas State, three interceptions. And then a big matchup today against Iowa State in that tough defense. Spencer Rattler has a lot of room to grow. He's very, very talented, but right now he's out of this list for me. Yeah, and I want to see that defense get a little bit better too to help him out, man. So let's recap a little bit. With all of our Heisman candidates, we got a list. It's a quarterback heavy <laughs> Heisman. I mean, it normally is, Red. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> if there's one guy I think that's missing on this list, I will put Najee Harris in there. Three touchdowns in his first appearance, and they got some big games coming down the pipeline. So I think Najee Harris is going to be on the list uh, this, se- this season. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.